Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm um, as you're aware, I'm, my name is Luke, and um, we're going to Whitney today. Well, that's the plan. So what we're going to do is head over to the yard because we're not in the yard at the moment. We're in the wrong place. We're going to head over there, find out what we're getting, get loaded, get some paperwork, and then we'll see me again, and we can find out where we are going. Good morning, guys. So we are on our way to Whitney. Um, which was what I was expecting to do anyway. I wasn't expecting to be carrying only three tons. Like, literally three tons. So, um, I've got to try and get there as quickly as possible. Which is hard, because the main road, or the main route I would take there, is closed. That's why we're tired by that road. The secondary route to get there is also closed, so I've got to go the third way into it basically, which is a bit longer, it's a good 20 minutes longer to get there. But it's the only way I can get there. So, a bit annoying. Obviously the the, uh, the lower the amount of tarmac you've got on your body, the, the, uh, the faster it goes colder, and then the harder it gets. So I need to get there as soon as possible so it comes off nice and easy. But obviously I need to get there safely, which is priority. Um, one hour sheet work booked, which means I've got to put my safety pins in, lift the body up, and then they'll put the wheelbarrow underneath the bucket, and then they'll uh, tip the tarmac into the wheelbarrow, and then handle it. So, um, I'm going to be on site for about an hour or so. They say site, I don't think it's a construction building or construction yard, I think it's just a road. So, um, could be quite busy. I think it's a high street, the high street in Whitney. So um, if you know Whitney well, you see roadworks in Whitney High Street, and you saw an eight-wheeler tarmac lorry driver, that was me. <clears throat> Voice is getting better, it's still a bit iffy, it doesn't hurt, it just, I haven't coughed so much today, though I want to cough now I've said that. But um, yes, so far so good. So we're on our way to Whitney, we see what's happening when we get there, and then I will see you in a bit. Right, we're in Whitney now. There's a lot of traffic about. Just come out of a bit of a queue back there. Um, we're only five minutes away apparently. One three quarters of a mile. I, um, I had a couple of uh, guys mention to me before in the past that, um, Either you or uh, family members, you had loads of time to go. Loads of time to go. Either you or family members um, lived in Whitney. So I can't quite remember who it was who said that, but you probably know Whitney more than I do. Probably know exactly where I am. And you probably know exactly where I've got to go. I'm going to Bridge Street. And you probably know where that is. We're looking for a company called Protar Servicing, Bridge Street, Whitney, OX281 DA. Um, looks like we're going down there where that black car's coming out. Let's It's quite sunny today, considering we're in December, it's like quite bright. I had to wear my sunglasses a few times on the way in. Tower Hill. Yeah, my three tons of tarmac is starting to go cold, I reckon. It doesn't help that every time I brake hard, it moves forward a little bit so it goes cold, where it's like thin layered. But the back is going to be like thick layered and the further to the front it gets, so like this looks like a slug I guess. So it's going to get cold at the front. Which means it's probably going to be a bit of cleaning out needed later. So we're right down here. Turn it in 
right, uh, left rather. I have been here before, this looks familiar. I expect I've had this in a vlog. So apparently it's just ahead where we're going. Bridge Street. I don't know where on Bridge Street it is. And we've got to go to. It just says Bridge Street. So I'm hoping I can see people working. Hivers, jackets, beacons flashing, things like that. Roadwork signs. That's what we need to see. Just taking me to the roundabout. It's nice to take me to the street itself. I'm gonna go left. I see diverted traffic signs. Right, well there's no one there, bloody typical. And they're on tight roads, and I've got to turn around. Right, so now I've got to make a phone call. Find out where they bloody are. So I'm just trying to find someone how to turn around. I'm starting to have a sense to turn around on the roundabout, but too big to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to get on there in one day. If there was no cars behind me, it would have been alright. Hoping I can turn right. Looks like it could be a house in the States, it could be a lot of houses. Um, not a lot of houses, I mean a lot of cars. Don't look too bad. Right, so what I'm going to do is basically turn around, go back to that Bridge Street, park up on Bridge Street and have a look around try the phone number again. He's not answering his phone, but it's not even ringing, it's just going around. That's a tree. It'd be nice if they were just here, wouldn't it?
Yeah, this is not what you want to happen when you've only got three ton of tarmac on you and you've been driving for over an hour already. It's definitely not what you want. You want to be able to get to site, turn up and get tipped. But this is trucking. That's, this is the problem with having to go to a different place every day, like, you got to try and find it. It's alright when you've been there once before, because then you know where it is again. Right, it's that roundabout that I couldn't turn around in one go. That mill house care home. Right. I'll try calling that number again. Hi mate, is that Colin? I'm trying to find um, Bridge Street, but well, I'm on Bridge Street now. I'm trying to find where you guys are for free time tarmac. Bridge Street in Whitney. Yeah, I'm here now, but um, where are you? I I'm actually on. I'm actually on Bridge Street. You on the bridge? down a little bit then I might see you. Alright then, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, we'll do.
Right, so I found it. I was just driving along, willy nilly, not actually going anywhere in particular, just having a little look around. And I saw here that the road is closed. Of course, you can't see any. This is why I just bought a new mount. So I'll just unclip you. So yeah, driving along, and then I could see here that the road was closed, and there's a paver there. So I thought I'd get out and ask to see if it's with those guys, and uh, it is. So that's good. They, um, there is a bridge down there. They did tell me that they are on the bridge. So they weren't lying. They were telling me the truth there. The problem is it isn't the bridge of Bridge Street. It's the bridge of New Bridge Street. So a bit of a miscommunication there. Now, um, they want me to try and go round and come in the other way. But uh, it looks like I won't be able to do that. Right, I've been told to go round the other way, so that's what I'm doing now. He said, he said, my mate is round there waiting for you to direct you in. So, let's see. So, turn right and right again. Right, mate. Right, we'll see what happens. Oh, mate. And back up this road.
sorry for my concentration face. At least it's relatively easy to get straight out. I'd rather do the harder bit now, anyway. As far as I'm aware, it's legal to take your seatbelt off going backwards. Just so you know. Lots of cars outside me. And up we go. Right, that's all done. Pins are in, locks are in, bodies up, three ton on. Hopefully, it won't take long to get rid of it. But um, we go see. What's the time now? Half past ten, really. Let's see how long this takes. Right, so we're done. Just finished tipping, got a little bit on me still. Got about half a ton. A bit annoying because it's going to be rock hard by the time I get back to Quicklade. So I'm going to have to clean out when I get back. Just need to put down here quickly to Whitney. 3.04 tons. Take it away. Seat belt on. I'm gonna keep my hazards and beacons on just as I navigate myself out of here. I need to go through Highworth on the way home. Before I continue driving, let's just get the route planned. If you let slade by worth using routes and to cut routes. Remember how we come in now. And hopefully there's no cars blocking me either. easier to go round the roundabout the wrong way. Ooh, ooh, that's tight. Got a fucking lorry in the way now. Okay. 
got a bit of bush. Normally wouldn't mind having a bit of bush, but um, on this occasion, not my favourite. Hazards off, left in the KR. See this being a bit of a nightmare to get out. <coughs> Beacons off. Got the bush all over me, man. Right. So we got half a ton of tarmac on us. An hour's drive back. That means it's gonna be fucking cold. I wasn't gonna swear, but decided to in the end because that's how cold it's going to be. It's going to be so cold, it's going to be fucking cold. It's going to be rock hard. Never mind. It's what it is. I'll have to get in with a bloody shovel. I do have a bit of tarmac to do in Swindon next. So hopefully that'll take whatever's in there out. That's the plan anyway. So I will probably see you guys in about an hour maybe an hour and a half when we know where we're going next but right now we're on our way back to the yard and then take from there see you in a bit we're still on the way back to quick Lane, but i just wanted to say that it is a lovely day today like the sun is proper out it's quite nice for december i must admit <laughs> right we're literally just around the corner from where we've got to go we are going to the swindon job uh, and we've only got five ton of tarmac on as well. So not much more than the three we had this morning. I'm not entirely sure where I gotta go though. Badway Road, which is where we are, and it's at gate three. And that's all it says. So again this could be fun trying to bloody find where we gotta go. This is an industrial estate, so there's loads of room to turn around. I mean, I have a funny feeling it could be BMW. The mini plan. Because we went there the other day. I did some time out there the other day with my trainee. And, um, that was gate 3 then as well. It doesn't say anything about BMW on the paperwork. It was the last time it did. So, no harm in going and checking I suppose, is it? I can't see any numbers anywhere saying 3. Radway Road and that is the mini plant down there and I have a funny feeling it is called Gate 3. Wait for this, uh, is it German? D, that's, a, that's Germany, isn't it? Let's wait for him to go.
Yeah, I've got a tarmac. Tarmac? Yeah. In the right place? They said gate three off Radway Road, that's this, isn't it? It is, yeah, that's right, yeah. Do you know where they are? Yeah, I'll give them a call. Uh, tarmac. tarmac. Yeah, literally tarmac, yeah. You want to pull it in on the left there, mate, if you can throw it in and get hold of it. I'll do your sight, man, as well. Alright, mate. Hello? Cheers, mate, thank you. Go right to it, that's alright. Hello? Hi, oh, is that Danny? Hi, mate, yeah, I'm at the, uh, the mini pad. Where about on site are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've just come into the site now, just parked up at the entrance of gate 3. Alright mate, no worries. See ya, bye. Right, he's going to come and get me. Beacon's on, hazard's on. Got a site pass. And a site map. Oh, I just sit tight here then for a little bit. At least I'm in the right place. He said he's going to be 10 minutes. See if I can get a 15 minute break in. Uh, car to industrial services. Huh. Right. No point in you watching me for 10 minutes, is it, while I wait, so um, um, I'll see you in a bit, I guess. So, our escort has now got us, he's right in front of us. <clears throat> I think we got a 15 minute break in, we did get a 15 minute break in, 17 minutes we got in in the end. So that's good. Turn right, but that big mini is. Just got to remember how to get out of this fucking maze. Turn right at the blue mini. Don't know how fucking far we got to go. Are we overtaken or are we not overtaken? Oh, we overtaken. We overtaken! I think there's somewhere here on the left by the looks of it. about this the other day, me and my penis. Literally this bit. So how come it's been going out on the main road then?
We've got to reverse into this little thing here. Oh, it could be a straight tip, you know. That'd be nice. Don't think it is. Alright, let's go put the pins in and stuff. And we'll be right back. slanting too much. We are done. Well, we're not done. We're here. The body's up and they got 500 tarmac today. But me and you, right now we're done. I just get to chill out now, play on my phone, play some games. Such a hard life. So the time now is 10 past 3 nearly. 10 past 3. I got here at ten past one. So I've been here two hours. I was only supposed to be here for one hour. So it's good and it's bad because I've definitely finished now. When when I finish this load here, that's it. Home time, going straight home. But it's just annoying. But at the same time, because I've only got five ton. If they take two hours to do it, it's going to go cold. Just like the last one, I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to go back to the yard and clean up. So if it's a little bit quieter, I might bring you with me and show you how, to, how I clean up after a hand delay. Because it's basically, um, it's, well, it's a lot harder inside. So sometimes you get big clumps of tarmac stuck on the side. But never mind, hopefully we'll be off in a sec. Right, so we finish doing the hand delay stuff back there. I went out to him and said, alright, we're done now then. He goes, oh no, we've got to do another spot. So, I mean, I've only got half a ton on me, which is good. And also, it's supposed to be a straight tip, which is also good. Um, it probably means I won't be able to show you much of the uh, cleaning up process, because I'm in a, an area where they don't like recording being done. But I don't want to get out of the cab with a camper, do you know what I mean? At least we're going home after this. It. 
the door be out hopefully. So what I need to do now is uh, go and check, do the clean up and um, I'll be back with you guys in a sec. So we are done for the day. Put my lunchbox away for a day. Um, it all come out quite nice to be fair. So that's really uh, really good. Hardly any cleanup was required. And um, home time now. I'm not sure if I'm going down the right way or not, but never mind. Oh yeah, remember we said um, turn right at the mini, the blue mini. It's there look, on the left. So rather than turning right, because we've moved direction, we're pretty much going straight over. So, at least I know where I am, that's good. I'm not sure if I've got to hand the pass back in or not. Not quite sure what the speed limit is. Oh, it's 20, it's on the floor. 20, 20 miles an hour speed limit, that's good. I'm only doing 15. There's the exit. Out we go. Just as long as they open the gate for us. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's in there with the mat. No worries. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you later, buddy. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that. He said, uh, "Did I give you a ticket?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, he did." He goes, "Oh yeah, tarmac, wouldn't it?" I said, "Yeah, yeah." Oh, I can smell it now. <laughs> so now we are on the way. Back home, back to the yard rather. Before we continue driving, I just need to sort out my hands free, which just broke in my hands. Right. I need to call my girlfriend and get her to pick me up from work. Call my girlfriend. No, the other one. Alright, love you. Alright, love you, bye bye. Right, so that's the girlfriend aware. She now knows that I am on my way back to the yard. Um, basically, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we, uh, well, we've got the same car, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, she has the car. And um, Thursday and Friday, I have the car, if she says I can. <laughs> basically. That is the relationship with regards to car sharing. So yeah, um, she works Monday to Wednesday, you see, she's no shrewd house. She's just got home and then I've said, you need to come pick me up now. Oh, the beacons are still on, just turn them off. They're only faint, but I could tell uh, on the road signs, I could see the flash, only just, because mine aren't very bright. Look at those dickheads, look blocking up the roundabout and that poor car can't get out. Stupid. <coughs> I try to be like as considerate as possible with regards to the placement of my lorry. 
If it says keep clear in front, I will keep clear. It's just what I'm like. There's no rush, not going to get home any quicker. Never mind. <coughs> get on to the A419 and then I want to talk about something real quickly with you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, um, this afternoon I started a, um, a crowdfunding page. Um, link is in the description and also on screen right now. Basically, and it is 100% volunteer, uh, voluntary, is the word. If you want to donate any money to, to me, basically, then um, hit that link. That's basically what it is. If you want to give me money, hit that link. Um, it's not just giving me money, though. It's putting money towards this channel. Um, the money that I get will be going towards purchasing a new camera. I don't know exactly what camera I'll be getting yet, but I want to put a camera on the outside of the cab that I can basically put on while I'm driving. So you can see me, you can see in front, and you can see the cab uh, outside at the same time, facing backwards, or even frontwards. Um, particularly while I'm tipping, I want to put it on the top of the of the bucket. So when it goes up, you can see the tarmac going in, or whatever I'm delivering, but coming out basically, and uh, and being being tipped, which is what a tipper driver does. They tip, and you don't really get to see me tip so much. You see. Well, you see me do this stuff, and you see the aftermath, but you don't actually see it happening very often. So, um, yeah, what a Christmas coming up! I just haven't got the money to go out and buy one myself. But um, if you want to donate, donate to, to me to, to, to get that, then um, that'd be absolutely fantastic of you. That'd be amazing. I put the page up. Uh, it went live this afternoon, and I've already received a five pound donation. Um, I'm actually over the moon with that, like five pounds already, it's absolutely great. You can donate as much or as little as you want, it has to be a minimum of two pounds. I, I, like, you could donate 5p if you wanted to, oh, that would not bother me, but the, the page that is on will only accept a minimum of two pounds. So, um, yeah, if you only want to donate two pounds, that is brilliant. I don't, I don't care whether you donate two pounds or not, but um, if you do, it's going to help towards getting a, um, a new camera, which is going to be great. If you don't want to donate, that's fine. Just continue doing what you already do. Just watch my videos, like them, comment. Do what you always do. That is, I'm absolutely fine with not having any donations. It's just if you do donate, we can get that camera as soon as possible. And start vlogging on the back of the, t um, of the cab as well. Just overtake this car. The car doing 40 mile an hour on a 60 limit. So yeah, <coughs> I guess that's it for this video, um, my throat has gotten a lot better now, it doesn't hurt, well, it doesn't hurt to what it never has, I don't know why I keep saying that, it doesn't sound so much like it's as bad as it was, it's clearing up, I've still got a little bit of a cough, but it's nowhere near as bad as yesterday's vlog when, it's, when I was vlogging, and it's nowhere near as bad as the day before I've done the vlog. So happy days. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And oh, also, those of you have, who have already subscribed, there's like this new thing now next to the subscribe button, it's got like a bell. If you can click that bell, ring a link my bell, whatever you want to call it, click that bell and you get notified as soon as I upload a video. So um, if you can be the first one to comment then, you never know. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for watching future videos. And um, until then, drive safe. And Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year.
Thank you.